Welcome to another episode of Premium Solutions Exterior. Today I am here in the uh, Snohomish area. I am about to do a multiple repairs. Uh, planning to replace all of the plastic accessories. And um, you know, this is the main reason. Let, let's check uh, these vents that are broken and let you know why I am about to do this kind of repair. And this, this this is what happens in the long run, you know, when you install or, or the builder install low profile material. See, you can see because it's cracked and it's getting, see? This is the main reason that I'm about to do. Look, see this crack there? See? And uh, apparently, this is not leaking. Well, you know it's really hard to say because all of this is are broken actually you can see here inside there you know that is the attic so when it rains the water can get in from there there and also there so the homeowner asked me to replace all of the accessories so that's why i'm going to replace it because you know as you can see um there are some um accessories and let me show you i think is uh, here just in a second those are plastic they can cause leaking And as you can as you guys can see there see uh, pretty much all of the plastic accessories will cause a leak but this is the main reason that I am about to replace all of them all right I think it's time to start work and stay done
Okay, so I have uh, removed all of the uh, accessories uh, and I just realized that there were a lot of uh, leakage. So starting from this area, there were a vent there. It was there, but I just want you guys to take a quick look in the interior. See that area? That? There was a leak there, you know? That area. So that leak came from this plastic uh, bent. And even doesn't look crack. Uh, in very good condition, but if you guys pay attention on this area here, this edge, the water is collecting in there. Actually, you can see the drop. See? So this bend, it was like that. So when it's rain, water is collecting this area. So you guys can see it's dripping. So. See the interior? Right there. Uh, but it's not the only one. We're gonna inspect more uh, on the upper roof. This is a lower roof. There were just one accessory. Um, so I'm gonna take a quick look here. First, there was a bend here before. And as you guys can see, this area, see? right here uh, looks like it has moisture in the underlayment so there were a, a leak happening here let's do the another one if you guys can you guys can barely see this white color see this is mold so it was leaking here Actually, you can see the mold, the white color here, this, this, there, and also there. Let's go with this one here. See, it's the same. It's a mold. See how bad it was here around there? And actually, in the interior, it's all... Um, uh, it's dirty, so it's just accumulating uh, the breeze. I, I believe this is the dryer one. Let's take another one. Here. Um, a few minutes ago, when I was removing this vent, water was dripping down. can see this this, this plastic wood it was broken see so it was like that so every time it was raining you know water were um, entering by this area and it was running down and, and uh, I'm assuming that the next leakage it was here this is another bent it was that plastic and the same you can barely see it, but this is wet and this is moisture. It's not raining right now, but I believe when it's raining, the water can get in there. Let's take a quick look at all of this. Okay, uh, let me see. Here, there were a bend here, and actually you can see the evidence of the water here, you know, that area. You can see how the water was dipping down. See? Right there. Let's take a quick look at the another one. Doesn't, doesn't seem too much here. 
be there. But on here, there are a few things that I would like to point out. First, you can barely see the drops. It was from from this bend. But you guys will be surprising of this one. See? This area. See how it was dripping there? Those are drops. And it was leaking from there. Now see here? Okay, this is what we call safety anchor. This is the boot. Usually comes with a uh, with a cap like that. Yes, let me show you. This is the cap, safety anchor cap. See, has a uh, wire tied here, and this is the cap. But look. <clears throat> You guys take a quick look here in the interior. See that? This is this is leakage. So if you have a safety anchor with no cap, you know what it causes the leak. There is a very very small gap here and there. Look. Let me show you. See that gap? So when it's rain water will be going inside. Same thing here. Okay. So, um, I will install a cap here. Uh, let's take a quick look at this area here. Okay. You guys can see. This is the coloration here. This is actually a small amount of a mold. This is a water here. You can barely see it, but you can see how the moisture around this plant. Uh, this is a small amount of mold. Uh, so I'm assuming that it also was leaking there. And this is the last one. Same thing. Plastic. You can see the moisture here and actually this is wet this is water you know so i'm gonna replace all of these accessories with 24 gauge metal um, this is another foaming pipe you know <clears throat> this one was in good condition but still homeowner asked me to replace oh actually this is the one that it was there. You can barely see it. See this area? There. See here? So actually this one. It was like that. Very, very tiny gap. You guys can see. See there? Yeah. Alright. So just gonna load all of the materials. Then uh, I'm gonna start working on all of these penetrations and the steel. Hey, I'm gonna point out one more thing. You guys look the skylight, see how it looks like. See the average life of the skylight, average life is about 10 to 13 years. The life of the skylight is about 15 years, obviously with proper maintenance, cleaning, you know. Uh, but you know see by looking the uh, this decoration 
in the glass it tells me that it needs to be replaced and the main reason that it's the manufacturer recommended replacement is because of this gap see there is a uh, a gasket here between the glass and the metal frame here this one it get broken it's just all in the perimeter this one it gets failed yeah all right anyways so i'm gonna load all of this material and i'm gonna start working and um, i hope after today everything should be fine you know remember there were some accessories that were broken as you can see there how the water were those are dripping all right stay tuned So this is how it look, you know, with all of the uh, accessories uh, in metal, you know, previous uh, bends, they were broken, those two, and that one, you know, and usually they install nails right here, you know, leaving it an exposed nails. So with my method, no nails is exposed, 
it's all hidden by the shingles you know that one that one it's another one <coughs> here that that one so still I mean, you guys can see safety anchor here and there this one, see and this is all metal it's not plastic So this is how they look. See? Alright. So I'm out of here. This is Rafael with Premium Solutions Exterior 425-599-4850. See you next time. Bye bye.